Welcome back to Road to the Slipper, one of our great segments on the All In Show. We're going to uh, have a quick run through some Golden Slipper chances. But firstly, Dino, there's been some great chat from a uh, good mate of the show, Dan O'Sullivan, uh, GTX ratings discussion point around Golden Slipper winners. Mate, give the um, give the audience a bit of a, a bit of a rundown of, of what it takes to kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a key profile leading to the slipper that a lot of punters and Dan's highlighted over the years. Um, and we can sort of highlight how much of a um, poor crop we could probably say this two-year-old crop is this year. Um, the normal key slipper profile is to be uh, rated that 97 and a half plus leading to the slipper. In 2017, we had six horses, 18, six horses, 19, seven, 2020, we had six horses. And last year we had five horses, all with ratings over 97.5 um within two weeks of the slipper this year we have one horse um, with two races to come but doubt they'll be running a figure above that so just highlights how uh, much of a poor season we're having for these two-year-olds um but yeah that's just little stats inside of a, a slipper profile gunning unreal and we'll get to that that uh, one one horse in a minute mate um b- before we get into that though a uh, quick look at the market we've got cool and gatta five dollars so jordan seven dollars russian conquest 11 best of bordeaux 13 dollars a magic 13 dollars and rounding out probably the top five there mate before we get um further deeper into the into the form lines here so jordan went around on uh saturday it was very very impressive probably one of uh, you would have done your review, but probably only one of a couple of runners that really made up ground um, from back in the field on Saturday. Mate, what was your opinion on that? Yeah, you have to look at the tempo of the race. They went about 5.5 lengths above standard there. So they've gone quick early. The pattern of the first two races was up on pace. So they've probably overdone it a touch there. Um, small field probably helped him out as well. Um, but yeah. All credit to the winner. He's made a stack of ground out wide. There's another horse who come through the race that was desperately um, unlucky. We'll mention that in a second. But, yep, good win. Um, so jordan has gone well, and it's probably becoming the obvious form that's sort of stacking up as the slipper form. So all credit to him. Um, we know he handles the wet now. It's just his, his, um, his pattern. If he's going to get uh, – we know the slipper field's going to be obviously a lot bigger than Saturday. So he's going to get uh, a lot further back. It's going to be tricky for him to win. But, yep. All credit to him. Uh, good win on Saturday. Outstanding. And um, the horse you mentioned before, Show Court. <clears throat> um, I was on him. I think half the uh, half the Ramick was on him, and it was a very hard watch. Won't be going to the slipper, mate. But I think you've got a bit of a bit of a gut feel to be going somewhere north. What do you got for us? Yeah, yeah. He probably should have won that race. Held up behind horses. He nearly fell actually, and then got out late. He's a nice type he'll get over a bit more ground and he is a jj atkins horse chris wallace mentioned this um he won't go to the slip bar so punters wait for him um, in a couple of weeks time and he'll be a beautiful jj atkins horse which waller nails the profile for that so watch out punters any uh, any jj atkins markets i'm just having a quick little scan across i can't see anything at the moment uh, I think they do wait for a little bit for these to come out. Um, I know on previous, yeah, occasions. There you go, Munzi. If you're listening, mate, get it open. Dino wants on. He wants to load up. Right, <laughs> another one, an absolute failure. There was no grease lightning on Saturday. Um, massive boom. Completely understand why it hasn't fired a shot. What are your thoughts there, mate? Yeah, the verified file, uh, probably firstly, sorry, the verified time of that trial, which everyone was raving about, they've gone probably 10 lengths faster than um, what, she actually ran. So first of all, there's an overreaction there. Then had six synthetic hoof filler on first time on both front legs, which is a massive, massive query for mine. I wouldn't be surprised if they put this horse in the paddock too well bred to have something go wrong. I doubt they'll push on off that run, but the stables, um, the stable's quite unique these days. And I think a few of us saw those articles this week about all their data and all their tracking all their horses. So they probably know better than me, Gannon. So I'm sure. Which is quietly, like as a punter, you're sitting there and you go, oh, you know, Grease, first half, bit of a query on the wet. And the next minute you hear synthetic hoof fill and you're thinking it's a heavy, it's a heavy 9,000, mate. Like, you know, you should not, you can't be getting sore feet running into puddles. Mm, talk me exactly. through that why has it gone around anyway they know far more than i do i'm just a mug but talk me through that um mate best of all oh, it kills me best of bordeaux uh goes around in a trial on wednesday i believe dino where are they trialing mate 
Yeah, Warwick Farm, um, Wednesday going around a trial. We know the stable, um, Casey Fogden's come out and said this horse won't have a run before the slipper. It's going to have a trial and then straight into the slipper. He's got a nice profile, Gannon. He's an up-on-pace type who leads, dictates, can handle the pressure, which is key, um, and he handles the wet in all conditions, which that's the ideal slipper horse. He might not be the most dynamic and um, impressive horse, but he's got all the attributes to be a very big um, contender in the golden slipper. So very interesting how he goes. I'm guessing they might be on the synthetic or the poly track, so um, I'm not sure what to make of that, but I think he... Um, a lot of punters probably dismissed him over times and etc cetera, etc cetera, but you can only win you can only win your race as well so take a take a look punters Wednesday um, steps out for his trial prior to the to the Golden Slipper it's a bet for mine I think I mentioned a couple of week, uh, weeks ago if it was trained by Waller um, it would be $5 favourite it's not trained by Waller Tra- trained by an absolute gun up north in Casey Fogden and Bad income, thirteen dollars. It's still a bet. It probably come out in a synthetic and you know put nine on them, and everyone will go oh, really overreact and it'll be into eights. But it'll be worth a <laughs> bet because we know what we're gonna, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get a horse that goes forward, tries hard, handles conditions, and will most likely get conditions to suit. Because if we get to the slipper and that track is better than a soft seven, fair income, I give up, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, if you had to have, I give you a hundred bucks now, not your hundred. You give you a hundred. I'll take hundred out of Louis' wallet and give it to you. What would you have your hundred on the slipper? Oh, that's a tough question. I would back you in too, Gannon. Best of all days, got the profile for me at the minute, so I'm stealing your tips this time. See how it works out. <laughs> Unreal, that a boy. There you go, punters. There's a road to the slipper. If you've got any thoughts, uh, if you want to can our opinions, please do. If you want to give us a wrap, get around that. But more importantly, what we want to hear is who you think is going to win this slipper. We can come back and give you a wrap once you tip the winner.